What is going on guys? It's Enzo. We guys having a fantastic day so far. Today I wanted to do another quick discussion video for the Road to Final Fantasy 15. And we're going to talk about the Regalia today. So this is pretty much um, the party's car for the whole game. But let's go in. Um, let's go and get started with today's video. But before I do that, make sure you leave a like down below. Comment what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share the video if you enjoyed. And I thank you guys for watching. Let's go and get started with the Road to Final Fantasy 15. Because we are back on the Road to Final Fantasy 15. Let's go and get started. So the Regalia is the party's car and transportation you can use freely to explore the open world with the Regalia. It's kind of like the ships from past uh, Final Fantasy games, kind of like the airship from Final Fantasy VII, and so on, so on. Um, there's quite a few airships. I'm not going to try and name them all right now, of course, but it's kind of like an airship for um the final fantasy games but since final fantasy 15 is more of a modern setting final fantasy game it's a car but we're going to talk more about that right now the regalia is able to be upgraded into an aircraft so it will play kind of like a sh like the airship from final fantasy 7 and final fantasy 9 um so it, it has the aircraft portion to it but it is also a car since it is in the modern setting Enemies can attack while Noctis is driving the car at night, so the party might have to get out to um, defeat the uh, monsters that come and attack the car, so they're able to move forward and not have to worry about getting attacked while driving down the road. Apparently, when they were looking into making the driving mechanic for the regalia, they were inspired by Need for Speed, um, I believe a lot of the developers actually played games like Need for Speed to get an idea of how they wanted to have their Galia like in Final Fantasy XV. There is autopilot for driving, as well as you can drive the car manually as you please. And, par and there's also parking spaces that you can park the Galia, so if you want to get out of the Galia, you can obviously stop in the middle of the road if you want, or actually find a parking space. You're not able to drive off road, but when I was doing information, like finding my information for this video, um, I thought I saw a cutscene where they do drive off road a little bit. So maybe it's like certain off road areas, but not too sure. But we'll have to see how this plays out because it says you can't drive off road, but maybe it's just like certain areas you can't drive off road. Like for example, you can't just drive into the middle of the land, but if there's like a trail, you can obviously take that. If you get separated from the car, you can actually summon the car. So what I'm thinking this is going to play like, um, for example, if you play The Witcher 3, you have a horse named Roach. And whenever you need Roach, the uh, horse just comes out of wherever you summon him from. So maybe what will happen with the regalia is when you summon it, you just you see it drive up from like a maybe like a like a local um, stop area or it's like parked in like a local parking lot right near you. But that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment what you think about the video. And subscribe if you're new. I thank you guys for watching. I'm going to wrap it up here. Enzo out. And peace. Take me.